Okay, our, our next session is, uh, is called Sealing the Deal Through Mobile with Amazon Payments. Be true to your brand as you streamline the checkout experience. And we have three speakers uh, today who all will be speaking uh, around that topic. Uh, first is Jeff Pandolfo, did I say that right? Uh, from Amazon Payments, and he's the business development manager, manager for Amazon Payments. Um, Jeff has managed the strategy and outreach of various Amazon Payments products, such as Checkout by Amazon, which I think everybody should, knows about, uh, Amazon Simple Pay, and Amazon Flexible Payments. Uh, prior to joining Amazon, Jeff was the product line manager at Digio, where he managed the definition and development of both consumer entertainment products. And before that, he was a Gartner Group uh, senior analyst specializing in the internet security and networking space. Um, we're also joined by Ed Foy uh, of eFashion Solutions and Baby Fat. Um, Ed is a longtime veteran. Uh, he's both retailer, actually, and, and provider. Uh, always has fascinating insights. Uh, and Ed runs eFashion Solutions, which runs e-commerce um, sites from end to end, including uh, platform fulfillment and uh, customer service and marketing uh, for many brands, including Baby Fat. Uh, Playboy, Mandy, uh, and um, Sean John, and DKNY. Ian McDonald is uh, um, the GM at Century Novelty, which has won numerous accolades. I love this list here, actually. Um, re Internet retailer Hot 100, multi-channel merchant Silver uh, Web Award, uh, and Inc. 500 is the seventh fastest growing company in Michigan and the 39th fastest growing retailer in the country. Um, so he's had a lot of success in a very short amount of time. Uh, Ian also covers all of the, um, everything basically uh, across e-commerce and now mobile commerce, across marketing, uh, advertising, operations, fulfillment, customer service, and HR. So I think with this panel you have a nice um, uh, breadth of experience here. So uh, of our three panelists, one of them uh, was almost in, uh, almost competed in Taekwondo in the Olympics. Uh, another one was the tallest one in his second grade class. Uh, and the other one started as a stock boy. So in the end, we'll see who's who. With that, I'm going to hand things over to Jeff to get us started. Thank you. So let's get started here. So, as Bernadette said, I'm Jeff Pandolfo, Business Development Manager, Amazon Payments. So let me, introduce, let me start by introducing Amazon Payments as a business, for those of you who don't really know who we are or what we do. Um, many people still see Amazon as a major online retailer, but when you think about the technology infrastructure we've built behind the scenes to run one of the world's largest online businesses, you can see that technology really is at our roots. And that technology is leveraged in a number of ways. And we serve a variety of customers with that technology. That's consumers buying on our website. That's merchants selling on our website. And that's businesses and developers that use our services to build their own solutions and their own channels. So a lot of our infrastructure services are available for sale for that type of community. So Amazon Payments is one of the newer additions to the portfolio of Amazon products or business units. And we focus on bringing the Amazon technology for commerce off Amazon. So our goal is to provide consumers, sellers, and developers a very easy way to get paid online. So conversion is that business metric that we all look at in the payments world, in the checkout world, especially on mobile. So we, as that business unit within Amazon, continuously work with our merchant customers to optimize that experience and make it great. So for today's discussion, I want to share with you my thoughts on what it means to seal the deal on mobile and helping that conversion metric go up and how you can drive a seamless end-to-end -end customer experience. So I think, oh. Is this the right slide? Nope, there we go. Sorry about that. So we've all heard metrics and data points at this summit and in the press about what it means to, or what the growth is in mobile commerce. Now we see or think that it's mirroring the e-commerce growth of about 10 years ago. So the growth that we are witnessing today is that customers are buying a lot more than digital items on their mobile devices. This is not just ringtones. This is not just MP3s. 
This is just not gold for a video game or a game on the phone itself. It's physical things like tickets, electronics, obviously books, musical instruments, etc. So customers are interacting with their mobile devices more and more, and they're very engaged at every point of the decision-making process. And they kind of fall into three categories. We see it as awareness and interest, is that customers will often maybe take a picture of an item and think about it later when they leave the store. Evaluation, the ability to kind of comparison shop on the mobile device and see if they're getting a good deal. And then the third behavior is the actual purchase, where they're engaged with the mobile device, or they're engaged with the merchant, and they actually click that button and perform the checkout or the payment experience. So that wide spectrum of customer behavior um, can go from a split-second impulse, I want a deal now and I want it right away, um, and I have to get it before this deal ends, uh, to analysis. You know, let me make sure I'm getting the right price and I'll think about it later. And the categories these people are falling into, the Gen Y fashionista, the Gen X early adopter, especially in technology, um, and even to folks looking for bargains on what we're seeing a lot today in these kind of type of group buying or Groupon type uh, sites. And what's the common thread here is they're all being driven heavily into the mobile space. So like Amazon, and even your businesses are finding out, if the experience is right, the customers will convert and they will buy on mobile. So I think the best thing to do is probably to show you what I mean, how we at Amazon have worked very hard to make it easy to get people to search, browse, buy, and actually get to that point within the process. So I'm gonna cut over here and give a little demo. And so, what I'm gonna do is show an example of how uh, one of the technologies we use at Amazon to get people in that interest stage. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pick up the phone up for a bit, but I'm actually gonna scan a barcode. So for a willing suspension of disbelief, pretend I'm in the store and I see something I wanna buy. So, I've got a barcode here. And that barcode actually brought up this device. So this is a, the box uh, kegerator that we brought up. And what I did was I actually just scanned the barcode on Amazon and we found the, the item. It looks to be a great price. Now, we make it very easy for the person to get the details on that item. Obviously, it's mobile optimized. And in fact, we go so much farther to say, you know what? If I want, really want this item at this price, I can buy now with one click and I can actually be done. The order just got placed. So really, it probably took me longer to demo it than it really takes in real life. So that's how easy it is. That's how easy we try to make things for our customers. So this window of opportunity in mobile interactions is very, very small. And the bar for a good experience is very, very high on mobile. The small screen size, the soft keyboard, the external factors. Your customers may be on a bus. They may be in transit requires greater attention from them and greater concentration. And it also means for us as retailers, we need to give the same concentration and attention to the design and the checkout experience. It needs to be quick, it needs to be easy, and you know what? Make it fun. So customers should not have to think about this process at all. So what I just showed you is the seamless checkout experience, uh, which is used by Amazon. And we actually have this technology available for off Amazon. You can use the same technology via our Checkout by Amazon product on your own commerce websites, on your own mobile enabled sites, or your own mobile apps. So online retailers, such as Baby Fats and Century Novelty, offer Checkout by Amazon as, I go bypass that because we found that. Uh, they offer their, our checkout option on the website, on the retail and mobile websites, and they're happy with the results that they are seeing. So to talk more about this, I'd like to introduce you to two of our Checkout by Amazon customers, Baby Fat and Century Novelty. Ed Foy is joining me here today. He's the CEO of eFashion Solutions, and he manages Baby Fat's online and mobile, and their fairly new mobile channels. So Ed, let me start by asking you, when did Baby Fat decide to go mobile? Well, we've been wanting to go mobile for some time. The challenge has always been, where does it hit the priority list? Out of 
800 things you got to get done for your e-commerce site. Where's that budget going to come from, and how are we going to deploy it? Uh, so over the last year, it's been, a, it's, it's been on our QBR, quarterly business reviews, internally and with baby fat executives. And eventually, as the tools of you know, your my buys that are outside and eventually Amazon with the payments, we finally got an opportunity to really leverage third parties without eating up a ton of budget. And particularly, our concern, our client's concern was, we don't want to build a database, we don't want to build a credit card storing engine where customers would go online and set up preferences and then go to a mobile device and order. We didn't want to have, our client didn't want to have that risk. And once the payments came out, frankly, when uh, we start, first launched payments on babyfat.com, we, in our conversations, we knew it would really be a great mobile you know, a great mobile app or a great mobile platform. So it's, it's really, we've been at it for about six months or really, you know, hardcore at it for four months of marketing and whatnot. So it's really in the beginning stages. But after a year, year and a half of talking about it with the services that are out there and the ease of a customer and us, and us convincing Babyfat Corporate and us being convinced how easy it is for a customer to purchase with you know, their, their iPhones, their little, their big thumbs and their little keyboards. So um, what really convinced them was a lot of the traffic, five, and even given month it was 10, sometimes it was three, but on average, five to 6% of the traffic was coming through on mobile devices. So, you know, do we spend a lot of money? Will it convert? Will it not convert? We know mobile's the future. We, we believe it will be something big as it comes down, but can we be first? And how much energy do we put into it? And are there's partners that can help you know, get this live and, and help figure it out. And fortunately, with our relationship with Amazon, that was one partner that helped us get in front of the client, convince them to make it a priority. We made it a priority internally, and you know, it was fairly simple, frankly, to, to roll it out. So now we're finally monetizing that 5% of the traffic. We're in the beginning stages, but we are finding some pretty positive results. We'll get into it later on. Good, yeah, thanks, Ed. And I'd like to you know, just kind of introduce this as a good lead-in or segue. I'd like to introduce you know, the other things that you know, we're working with, with with Ed and Ian on and their companies. Um, something, a feature of our platform called PayPhrase, which is yet just another element to help with that conversion. Um, for those of you who don't know what PayPhrase is, PayPhrase is a fairly new technology from, from Amazon. It's part of our Checkout by Amazon product. And ostensibly what it is, is it's a little different than the one-click experience I showed you. So the one-click experience I showed you is for authenticated Amazon users, folks that have logged into their Amazon accounts and can buy with that one click of a button. But what happens if you come across a customer who isn't authenticated? Or maybe it doesn't want to be. We have other solutions for that. Uh, and PayPhrase is a very unique approach to that, where we can take uh, a payment method like a credit card, we can take an address from the address book and represent that by an easy to remember phrase and key it off of a pin. So if you can imagine being on a PC or on a mobile device, you don't need to log in with the username and password. You can even share it with your friends or your family members. All someone would need at the checkout process is to enter the phrase and enter a pin, and the purchase can be done. So it becomes very convenient. And we can have a whole bunch of instructions around that as well. And we'll get into a demo of that very shortly so you really see what we're talking about. So uh, think of it as an always-on, one-click experience. So. Um, I think we'll probably, you know, maybe go right into the uh, demo. Uh, the demo. All right. Show people what we really mean by pay for this. So you're doing a demo here. I found these great boots to go up my uh, my jacket. Those jokes. <laughs> so basically, pay. For, we, the reason why we, you know, on one, another product when we were first talking to Amazon was this pay phrase. Well, you didn't have to. We, all you needed was a phrase. You put it in a pin, and it's done. And we have a lot of young customers. So, and we'll get phone calls to the call center for fraud and whatnot, and, and mothers and fathers begging us to take a return and credit back the card, even though it was a legitimate purchase, it's something that they didn't approve. So this is, this is not something unique to baby fat, but maybe a lot of our businesses out there, but also a few, you know, about 50% of our clients. So we like pay phrase because it allows for the parents to set up an account for their children and have multiple accounts per household or per credit card. So as an example, and it was, it's just so easy. Flat? flat? Then, yeah, it should work. How's that, that's good? Okay. Hope I hit pay phrase. Does help? 
So obviously they, it may, thank you. I think an Amazon platform is the only thing you feel comfortable doing a live demo with. <laughs> So there's a number of phrases that you can provide, you know, you provide it to your, your children or whatever it may be or your own. That fix the spelling here. You get a code. Oops. Did everybody write down Ed's PIN number? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty ten, right? I got that right. All right, so I practiced this before, so I already placed an order with the same boots, so obviously there's security measures on here. You've already placed this order. If you want to place a new order, please close the window preview, et cetera. So because we practiced it before, we got to kind of clear the cache. But, but it kind of gives you the idea. And I just want to add there, I mean, that's actually a, a nice convenience and security feature that we put in place there. Again, if, if people are buying on the mobile device and they actually purchase an item, uh, the, same, the same item within a uh, certain window of time, we'll think it's a mistake and we'll put up an error like this or descriptive text so they don't actually buy two of the same thing. So. so pretty simple, right? So the bottom line is small device. How do we make it easy for the customer to get in and see what they want and convert them? And we see this as a, me as a mechanism that we're seeing higher transaction sizes. We're seeing the customers that are your loyal customers that are when you get a new product online. So we're seeing this convert better with new product that's on the website, not necessarily discounts, because that customer that's just so loyal and they're not at the computer, so they get an email, there's a new arrival, they pick up their mobile device, they order the product. So we're seeing a higher transaction volume for this product, uh, and it goes from anywhere from, depending on the client, 10 to 25% increase in or average order size. And we're seeing, a, you know, and again, it's, we're, when we send an email blast out for new product arrivals is when we're seeing the highest conversion rate. So we haven't necessarily seen it on on sale merchandise or product that's on there for the new customer. We're seeing current customers purchase more frequently, and we hope as we as more and more people are aware of the pay phrase and the, the secure checkout by Amazon, we'll add, we'll add incremental to it as well. But we are seeing the current customers very happy with our with the platform. So thanks a lot, Ed. Uh, appreciate the demo, even though we. <laughs> okay. So uh, next, uh, I'd like to bring up another one of our, our partners, um, Ian McDonald from Century Novelty, uh, which is now my go-to site for all party supplies, especially the Halloween costume. Um, and uh, party planners are folks that uh, are, are a, a big source of Century Novelty's uh, business. Are, they're also going mobile, too. So I'd like to ask Ian um, from Century Novelty uh, a couple of questions and actually get him to talk a little bit about uh, you know, how mobile's been impacting uh, his business and obviously the use of CBA or Checkout by Amazon. Well, we launched our, we launched our mobile website less than a month ago. Uh, and the reason we did it was before the ETL conference in August, I was reading the agenda, lots of topics were on mobile. But I was thinking to myself, you know, we sell party supplies, 90% of our items are under a dollar. Mobile, mobile is not important for us, it's, it's stupid. 
Uh, but I dig into Google Analytics, and lo and behold, I find out that in the last 12 months, we had $20,000 in sales come through on mobile devices. And 20K is not a ton of money. It's less than half a percent of our business, but it's still 20 grand, money we don't want to leave on the table. Um, and everyone indicates you know, mobile commerce is going to grow. And we found a nice chart in Google Analytics that shows from year to date, we've got you know, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. It just blows out of the water. Our mobile traffic is, is on the rise. Uh, this, is, this is what life is going to be like. So at eTail in August, I set out. I start talking to some mobile partners out there. And, and mobile is expensive. To launch a very nice mobile website can be very expensive. Uh, so we launched that about three weeks ago. And when we launched it, we knew we weren't going to have a checkout process. SLI is not an uh, e-commerce shopping cart. It's, it's search. But I figured if we launch a better search and browse, that will improve our mobile experience. Customers will uh, you know, find what they need and maybe buy it at their desktop when they get home. Uh, but in a webinar about checkout by Amazon, uh, they mentioned that if they detect a mobile browser using checkout by Amazon, they automatically redirect them to the mobile version of the checkout by Amazon experience. And that was perfect. Um, so I jumped on it. And with literally five hours of work, we were able to launch Checkout by Amazon on our mobile site. All we had to do was copy and paste the code from our um, regular website. We offer Checkout by Amazon on the regular website. Just copy and paste that code onto the item detail page template of the SLI Systems mobile website. And boom, customers could check out. Um, so what we really liked about Checkout by Amazon was that it was quick, easy, and, and highly affordable. It's, it's cheaper than regular credit card processing. Um, and it's superior to the regular checkout process because customers who have an Amazon.com account don't need to type in their billing address, their shipping address, or their credit card information. They just log into that Amazon.com account and everything populates. Um, and the checkout experience is the normal Amazon.com checkout flow. It's what consumers know, expect. Uh, it, it's how life is. You know, Customers understand the Amazon.com checkout process. So it was great to be able to offer that on our mobile. But perhaps most important was we knew at least a third of our customers already had an Amazon.com account, which meant at least a third could simply log into that account, choose their address, and be done. And those who don't have an Amazon.com account, well, they just type in their billing, shipping, and credit card information and proceed through. And if we didn't offer checkout by Amazon, everyone would have to type in all their billing, their shipping, and their credit card. So we're saving a third of our customers that time because they, they can just log in. Um, did we want to talk about results? Yeah, like so, okay. you know, so, quick results. So we've only, been live, we've only been live about three weeks, so it's too soon for some really hard data. But obviously, I expect conversion rate, time on site, page views per visit, all that to increase with consumers on their mobile device now versus on their mobile device without a mobile website. And aside from that, even without hard numbers, I mean, we just know intuitively that this is a better experience. Customers can, can place an order. It's a nice, mobile, optimized website, fully functional. It's going to be a great experience, um, thanks to SLI, and it's going to be a great, out, great checkout experience, thanks to Amazon, with literally five hours of my time and some copy and pasting. It's been fantastic. Great. Uh, maybe just a quick demo sure. to give folks uh, an idea of what Century Novelty has been doing on the mobile. Yes, good idea. So Jeff has his heart set on this pirate buccaneer jacket. He ordered two this morning during our run through, and he's going to get his third right now. Uh, so you can see we've got, you know, everything is pulled straight from our regular website picture, price, description, all right here. Uh, you could search for other products, which I don't think I intended to do, uh, or we just buy it with checkout by Amazon. So with one click, we're already logged in. You've got your order summary, the stuff down here. We've got our billing shipping. This is where I want it to go. I am just going to buy it with one click. And it's done. It will, it will ship today. It flows into our order management system with all of our Amazon.com marketplace orders. And it's, that's it. Very easy. That was the fastest demo ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that might have been the point, huh? Great, thanks, Ian. So that's the goal of Amazon Payments, and obviously, as you can see how we work with our partners, it's all about driving that ease and convenience uh, for consumers, especially on these mobile platforms. 
So again, for, with Checkout by Amazon, we offer a full suite of experience you know, for standard PC browsers as well as the, uh, the mobile device. Um, integrated, seamless, help with conversion, drive those orders up, help improve the overall uh, the user experience. And I hope you saw a couple, what you take away from a couple of the demos you saw today from folks using your technology is that it can actually be engaging, you know, from the pay phrase activity to, to one click. It's very seamless and it's, and it's very clear and very convenient overall. So again, check out by Amazon, our partners, you know, working together to offer a very quick, seamless checkout experience, such as one click and, uh, and pay phrase. Um, and obviously our focus, you know, with all this stuff is being heavily, heavily uh, optimized uh, for the mobile platform. So I wanna make sure, I know we've got uh, about five minutes left. I wanna make sure that we, we have the opportunity to entertain uh, any questions uh, from those of you uh, today. Ramesh Kumar from Tourgo. I have two questions actually. One is uh, how many people in the US are Amazon customers or they're registered customers so that we can rely on you know, X number of people who can simply uh, check, check out through this method. The, the kind of other question, do, do we need to use your fulfillment service to actually use it in our mobile sites as well or can we have our own fulfillment service? So both, both very good questions. Uh, on the customer question, um, we look at our customer base as active uh, around the world. Uh, obviously, a significant portion are here uh, in the U.S. We prefer not to talk about the exact specifics, but uh, I mean, we're, we're, it's uh, um, a significant number, as you can as you can imagine, of of uh, Amazon payments enabled accounts or Amazon accounts that are out there uh, today. Um, and in terms of the fulfillment question. Uh, no, you do not have to use our fulfillment services. It is an option for you. I think if you look under the covers of our products, we do give you the ability, if you want to use our fulfillment services, we can plug into them from a product like Checkout by Amazon, or you can continue to use your own. And if I could just add, I was curious, you know, how many of our customers have an Amazon.com account? Well, we do sell all of our products on the Amazon.com marketplace, and about a third of our transactions come from Amazon.com. So I assumed at least a third of our customers had Amazon accounts. So if you're on the Amazon marketplace, whatever percentage of the business that accounts for, that's probably the percentage of your customers who have an Amazon account. There's a question down here. Actually, while we're on that Amazon Prime, uh, how does that work with it? So right now, Amazon Prime is only for the retail site, Amazon.com. At this point in time, Amazon Prime is not, a, not part of the Checkout by Amazon product. So this might be a question for Ed, but if you can chime in too from what you know, that'd be great. Um, generally, I'm wondering, you know, I know MyBuys is an expert in the personalization space, um, and I know that Amazon has a consumer base, right? That account goes beyond your sphere of influence, right. uh, baby fat. What's the information at your disposal using the service of Amazon to enhance the consumer profiles in your ecosystem? Do you have insights into their transactions or preferences beyond the baby fat ecosystem because of their interaction with Amazon, or is that a Chinese wall set up? So it's, it, it's not necessarily a Chinese wall, so to say. However, we do, we believe that as it gets more, we have a customer base that is strictly baby fat, right? We don't sell a product within Amazon for baby fat, for the most part. It's not a mature channel for us. However, we did get exposure to, through marketing, their customer base that have the Amazon account. And hey, these retailers are offering products through their off Amazon websites, right? So, so yeah. the data is really up to you to integrate your armatures or whatever your analytics are to you know, tag those pages and understand where it's coming from and how you're monetizing it. Is your question whether um, the retailer is getting the, inf the customer information from Amazon? I, don't, I wouldn't want to go PII on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, from, a, from an increasing the targeting of your messaging and building your consumer profile, is the consumer profile that BabyFat has access to limited only to transactions on babyfat.com? Or is your consumer profile being enhanced by the additional transactions that the account holder does on Amazon or on other retailers? So yeah, so we, we, we've gotten new consumers through this mechanism. It's too early to tell really 
whether how how you know whether or not that's impacting the sales greatly. But we have seen the same customers utilize it more. So you know, but the indications are that the more awareness there are for this payment, and the more merchants that use it, the more we're getting incremental business off of it. But I, I think maybe just to elaborate on what Ed said a little bit uh, in terms of maybe the business intelligence that Amazon has uh, on a customer, maybe that's what you were um, yeah. leaning more towards. Obviously, for, for privacy purposes, we don't share that information out. I mean, your activity on Amazon is just for Amazon. Um, and so your activity off Amazon is really between just you and the merchant. So you don't keep that information? We don't. So the customer's ours. One more question. Any closing thoughts? Okay, we're all set. Great, thank you.